All right, let's get started. So, in this tutorial, we're going to start by establishing the base mesh and work on creating the first of the Boolean sculptors that will help in creating that base mesh for the lower part of the helmet. So, to do this, we're going to start off by going into our tool setting right here, making sure we have a tool drawn in. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you're hitting down the T, draw it in, hit T key, and make into poly mesh so it's in here. And then we can begin. We'll start off by uh, saying that we're going to be using a, whoopsies, there we go, much better. We're going to be using a uh, move brush as our first to kind of get the initial stage of this. And for that, we're going to be selecting the move brush here just by hitting the B key, and hitting the M key, and if you want to go even further on the abbreviation of quick keys, the V key. I'd like to also note that we're going to be working in symmetry mode when we do all this, so make sure the X key for symmetry is turned on. And come over here and make sure local symmetry is also toggled on. When dealing with move brushes, if you're not too used to it, don't try to use too small of a brush or else you'll only be creating these unwanted little grooves. We don't really want that. We want a fairly wide and large size brush to start off with. And to start, we're just going to make these small movements here. And all we're doing is creating a a basic uh, mesh for us to start off with sort of like a helm Not too big up there maybe a little ovalish in theme make sure that it's nice and round up here and we could just do a little bit of flattening I'm not going to spend the largest amount of time on creating all of this I can just sort of eyeball it and say, hey, that's probably good enough. And then using, let's divide the uh, poly mesh up a little bit now that we got what we want by holding down control D for divide. Or you can come down here to geometry and just hit divide right here. I did it a couple times already now, and you saw my mesh screw. That's why you uh, have three divisions. And that's probably it for all we're going to be doing. I'm going to turn off symmetry key right now because I don't want to uh, worry about one side on what I'm going to be doing here. So now I'd like to draw in my first Boolean sculpted piece. For that, I'm going to hold down the control key and just simply draw in something right here. Nothing too crazy, nothing too out of whack. Just something like that. Now, let's say I'd like to go ahead and uh, sculpt uh, this piece out. If you want to get an idea of what you're making, I can go ahead and hold down control and I'm in mask mode again. And I'd like to actually give some shape and form to this mask, so I'm going to switch from my freehand mode to my curve mode. So we're going from this mode here to this mode. And if we remember, we hold down curve by holding down control, because this is for the mask section, all that's needed is the control. And to create a curve within a curve point to bend this mask as we recall it is a left option key so I'm just gonna start off a little more shallow down here and uh, our left alt key is another way to put it and I'm just gonna tap it whoops <laughs> tap it right there now I got a little bit of a bend curve now I'm subtracting away so I haven't let go of it yet so I'm still going to then hold down the left alt or option key and then while doing that release I get a little bit more of a 
cleaner mesh. I know it seems jaggedy to many. I'm not really too worried about that little heavy resolution that I'm seeing right there. It's not a big priority to me. And I'll show you why. So I'm just going to go through and do the same thing. And I'm also going to say if this gets to be too quickly for you, hit pause, rewind, make sure to go over it two times, three times if need be. It's not necessarily meant or intended uh, to be uh, something that you're supposed to grasp right off the bat on your first try if this is new to you. So again, I'll go over it. It is holding down control to draw out your curve. I'm also uh, releasing control just so I can hold down spacebar to move this around. And then somewhere in the middle here is where I'm going to hit it. And by the way, I've released spacebar at this point. Now I am holding and I'm tapping, I should say, left alt or option key getting myself a new little spot right here. And I want to subtract everything that's on the shadow side. So I'm again going to do that. I have to hold left alt or option key and I'm holding it down and then releasing the curve. And again, do it one more time like so. And that, that looks like what I want to go for. So. There's several ways we can take this, but uh, a lot of people say to themselves they can make a group loop out of this and, and just simply push it in. I don't want to do that. I want to re make some more use out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shadowy area here and use our mask uh, extract feature. And for that, I'm going to come up here to where thickness is because I'd like it to be a little bit more thick and see what the projection mode gives me for that. And anything that's masked will project what it looks like. And once I'm happy with it, uh, either by adjusting how thick I want it, I can just simply hit accept. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more like so. And then we're going to hit extract. I can deal with that. Let's hit accept. Finally, let's go ahead and turn off up here in subtool the helmet. I'd like to just work with this piece now. As we can see, this is going to be our Boolean sculpted piece. This piece is going to be used to sculpt into our mesh, but it's got all these little wavy lines here as a result of the resolution we extracted it from. So let's see if we can take care of that. I'm going to hold control shift and then I'm going to come up here. I will get my select key, but I'm going to come up here, tap on the brush and then move all the way over and hit trim curve. I want to work with trim curve, not uh, clip curve, because that creates some non-manifold mashdown geometry that kind of messes with our uh, Boolean's uh, operation process when we want to convert everything down. So again, just like how the curve brush works, we kind of cut that down. And you know what? I'm just going to do something here. I'm going to divide this one up a little bit. Holding control D, I'm just going to give it another division. Whoops. Uh, important note though, <laughs> when you're using the trim curve brush, it is you do have to take off your uh, divisions. After you divide something, you just go through de geometry and hit delete lower. So that will be an important note to remember. And there we go. We got ourselves one clean piece. And I'm just going to do the same thing here. Whoops. And just as I'm correcting my errors, I'm simply hitting the, the uh, Command C or Control C, undo button, if you will, to get through all these. All I'm doing is simply uh, cr trying to create some smooth ends here. Like so. And uh, right here. And oops. 
perfect. And now we got ourselves a nice clean little piece here. Um, maybe I could have made it a little bit thinner, but that's all right. So now let's go ahead and turn this back on. I'd like to turn this into a live Boolean. So to do that, we're going to come up here to where it says live Boolean and turn that on. You can also do that by going into the render tab and just simply hitting render Booleans and you have it right there. And then let's turn this sub tool into a Boolean piece to sculpt into our main tool. And as you see, this is what we get. Now the real fun happens. If I hold Shift F, I can still see the Boolean piece is still there, but I'd like to get this gizmo, which I brought up by hitting the W key, to be right here where the pivot point is. To do that, we go ahead and change right here. And where this little, I'd say little marker piece is, it has a circle in it from a upside down teardrop. And now I have a Boolean I can work with and sculpt around. And I'm just going to play around with it a little bit. This is, this is one of those things where, again, you know, concept and mimicry are, are two different things. You don't have to necessarily get the exact result as long as you got the basics of it. Uh, and one thing I like about this is, is that... Uh, you can actually uh, do some interesting shapes from it, so don't feel like you have to get the exact piece that I want. I'm going to go ahead and work a little bit more with the Move tool on this Boolean. If you work with the draw size, get some pretty interesting results still even from that. I'm going to leave a little bit of a dip here. Remember, you can still edit this piece even in its boolean mode. If I hit control and shift, I can still take some pieces here and still make it look somewhat interesting if you want. Again, concept before mimicking the video. You can hit pause make your own piece, that's quite all right, as long as you're grasping what you're seeing here. And then finally, when you are happy with the piece that you got, and in this case, I'm just going to just leave it like that. I'm going to make sure my Boolean piece is selected. I'm going to duplicate the piece. And then I'm going to go ahead and go down to deformation. And I'm going to hit the mirror key. And that will bring it all the way over here. Make sure the correct access is applied when mirroring it over. And then after that, we're going to turn that piece as well into a boolean. And that concludes our first part in sculpting the lower section of a boolean piece.